Optus will fund a credit monitoring service for customers most impacted by the recent data breach. The telco last Thursday admitted that almost 10 million current and former customers' data had been accessed in a cyber attack. Watch the video above, Optus under more pressure following data leak. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus among the information accessed were dates of birth, passport and driver's license numbers and addresses. On Monday, Optus announced it was taking a further step to help reduce the risk of identity theft. Optus is offering the most affected current and former customers whose information was compromised because of a cyber attack, the option to take up a 12-month subscription to Equifax Protect at no cost. Equifax Protect is a credit monitoring and identity protection service that can help reduce the risk of identity theft. No passwords or financial details have been compromised. It said that the most affected customers would be contacted in the coming days. However, it warned that scammers might capitalize on the offer. Please note that no communications from Optus relating to this incident will include any links as we recognize there are criminals who will be using this incident to conduct phishing scams. According to Equifax's website, its credit protect services range from $9.95 to $14.95 per month depending on level of coverage. Consumer data advocate at Choice Kate Bauer earlier told 7 News. Com.au The customers deserved compensation, but the law didn't mandate it. There are two things to consider here, one, of, which is what does the law say on this issue? And the law says that they don't have to offer compensation, she said. But I think the other point is, what does the customer expect? She described the data accessed in the breach as a goldmine for identity theft. We know that a large number of people have been affected and that this is a serious breach in the type of information that's been breached, it's not just something that's easily changeable like your username or your password. These are things like your passport or your driver's license number or your date of birth, things that are key identification factors and are just a goldmine for identity theft. But these are things that either you can't change, like your date of birth, or to change them, you need to pay a cost. So, I think it's completely fair that customers expect some sort of remedy from Optus and I think compensation, in this case, would be fair. And I think we need to think about penalties as well. Meanwhile, law firm Slater & Gordon is contemplating a class action lawsuit against Optus. Class action senior associate Ben Zocco acknowledged that the circumstances behind the breach were still largely unknown. But he said the consequences could potentially be significant for some customers, and the firm was assessing possible legal options. This is potentially the most serious privacy breach in Australian history, both in terms of the number of affected people and the nature of the information disclosed, Zako said in a statement. We consider that the consequences could be particularly serious for vulnerable members of society, such as domestic violence survivors, victims of stalking and other threatening behaviour, and people who are seeking or have previously sought asylum in Australia. Given the type of information that has been reportedly disclosed, these people can't simply heed Optus advice to be on the lookout for scam emails and text messages. Very real risks are created by the disclosure of their personally identifiable information, such as addresses and phone numbers. Optus on Monday said it had contacted current and previous customers whose ID numbers, including passport or license numbers, were compromised. We continue to reach out to customers who have had other details, such as their email address, illegally accessed. We understand and apologize for the concern that this has caused for our customers. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.